Hi, it's Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and it's October now, and we are starting our Halloween books. So I hope that you'll join us every day for a couple of Halloween books, and you can find our playlist with some of the ones we've read throughout the years. This book is called The Haunted House, The Haunted Mouse by Judy Cox and illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. One October night, the doorbell rang. Mouse peeked out of the hidey hole and the night was dark. The dark was spooky. On the front porch stood a fearsome trio, a skeleton, a goblin, and a ghost. But Mouse wasn't scared. His whiskers twitched as he watched. Trick or treat, said the skeleton. Trick or treat, said the goblin. Trick, tick or teak, said the little bitty ghost. And she tripped over her sheet and the three held out their sacks. Dad plopped one piece of candy into each bag. Thank you, called the kids. The ghost dropped her sack and the goodies spilled out. Mouse's mouth watered, yum. He wanted trick or treats too. While everyone helped, the ghost mouse scrambled into the trick or treat sack. Candy, more candy than Mouse had ever seen. Sour balls, gumdrops, lollipops, and chocolate bars. Mouse closed his eyes and inhaled deeply. His whiskers wiggled. He simply didn't know where to begin. He nibbled on, his, on this and noshed on that until his cheeks were plump as a chipmunk. Just then, the big bag swung high in the air. Where were they going? Mouse gnawed a peekaboo hole in the back, the paper sack. The dark clouds fit, flitted over the moon. Jack o' lanterns sent beams of golden candle shine flickering across the front lawns. Flocks of trick or treaters scurried from door to door. Mouse didn't see the candy leaking out piece by piece through the peekaboo hole. The sack swayed like a pirate ship in a gale. Mouse's tummy roiled, his head spun. Poor seasick mouse. The next time the ghost dropped her sack, mouse staggered out. Just then, it started to rain. First a drizzle, then a full-out gully washer. The trick-or-treaters dashed for home, holding their coats over their heads. Boom went the thunder. Flash went the lightning. Away went Mouse. He darted here and there, dodging raindrops, splashing through puddles. Where could he find shelter? He was lost. He was wet. He was cold. An abandoned house stood by itself down at the end of the street. The door was barely open, just wide enough for Mouse. Lickety split, he scampered inside and he didn't notice the sign on the front it said, keep out. The door slammed behind. Hi, shut behind him. Was that the wind or was the house haunted? Mouse tippied down the hall to see what he could see. Cobwebs draped over his ears. The house was old. The house was empty. A spooky house filled with creaks and groans and things that went bump in the night. He heard bones rattle, a skeleton dancing. He saw glimmer, a, go a goblin prancing, a pale shape floating past, a ghost haunting. Mouse shook, Mouse shivered, Mouse shuddered. He backed up, step up, careful step until he was against the wall, trapped. But Mouse was not afraid. Boo, he cried as bold as, as a badger. I'm not afraid of you. Outside the house, the wind blew away the clouds. Moonlight shone in the windows, revealing bamboo wind chimes jingling, not a skeleton, a green frog croaking, not a goblin, torn curtains fluttering, no ghost. The storm was over. Mouse jumped out the window and he was ready to go home to his safe, dry hidey hole. But how could he find his way back? 
All at once, he saw a cherry lollipop shining in the moonlight. He picked it up. Farther down the sidewalk, he spied a sour ball. And under the street lamp, he spotted a, a scattered row of candy corn. Piece by piece, he followed the candy trail all the way home. <laughs> there in his hidey hole, he, was a ha he had a Halloween party of his very own. Good night, spooky night. Happy trick or treat. You <laughs> see how he's using the candy corns as fangs? That's funny, huh? I hope you like this book. Please subscribe to our channel and like our video.